I got a leaking caliper. Uh, this video will be about how to replace the seals. First of all, we're gonna remove the caliper. You need to release the parking brake handle. Then you need to remove the clip. I'll spray the parking brake uh, cable. Unscrew this bolt and attach the brake line. Prepare a piece of rubber to uh, to block it from leaking. Stuff in there. I'll put a piece of uh, rubber in there, could be a rubber tube. Now two bolts here and there. 12 millimeter socket. off. So it's leaking from the back. So I sanded this, just a little bit. I'm gonna apply the rust converter.
So we got a new, uh, new boots here. I'm gonna grease them. I had some problems installing the boots, the new boots uh, in the seats here on the bracket. I even tried to warm it up um, and uh, it didn't really help. So what, I, what I've what i done is that uh, I used uh, a 90mm socket. I kind of push it on and, uh, and I was turning a little bit so the so that the rubber part we get inside your socket will would only be touching the, um, the plate then I would just uh, uh, use a hammer slightly and it, it, it actually work I don't see any uh, tear on it I was also removing some dust by using 180 There's some dust on the sides So that that prevents it from um, Prevents the installation Gonna start putting it inside and then <coughs> and put the socket on. So I can actually feel it touches the plate and um, doesn't. Not pressing on the rubber. Slowly goes in. It's almost there. Okay, so it's on. Don't see any tear. It's all good. And put some more grease in there. Um, you're supposed to use silicone grease, so please do that. I uh, I don't have that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use the just the high, high temp. <laughs> Grease for uh, this is pin A. Yeah, they're actually different. So this one uh, goes uh, on top.
only put too much So we install the braking bag. <clears throat> I actually forgot to install this cap there. So I did this right now. Just uh, barely do the edges. I don't don't scratch the middle on the, the surface. So I couldn't find the seals um, pretty quick for my uh, old caliper, so I decided um, to get this refurbished one. Uh, I did it in a really uh, store. Uh, it was like 60 bucks, and I had to leave uh, the core. But it's all uh, nice and clean and uh, looks nice. I get some replacement stuff. No retainers. Now the piston needs to be retained back. Uh, you can do this with uh, with a tool. Screw it in all the way back. It's ready to reinstall it. Put the brake pads in.
it's not it's time to install the bungee bolt uh, you should get a new washers Install the cable. We install the clip. Now I'm gonna close the clip. Okay, so the nut is, nut is the 10. Um, I have this special device here for dra uh, draining. I'm, I'm alone, but it's better if you have like a person assisting you. So first of all, remove the cap and check for the fuel level. Now press the pedal and keep it pressed. Somehow, I have a block of wood here. <laughs> Unscrew it. Close it. And press it again a few times. Unlock it. Open it again. Okay. Check the level. And the level. Keep repeating the same procedure. Okay, as you can see, uh, there's no air coming out, so I'm gonna do it one more time, just to make sure, yep, no air, install the cap. So it's all done, you can reinstall the wheel. I would also recommend cleaning the surface of the disc with a, uh, with a special cleaner. I only have like a mass airflow cleaner here, but it's the same thing. 